right, so I would consider this a comp game, right? I ain't gonna lie to y'all boys. I would consider this a comp game, you know what I'm saying? Look who I'm going up against. Y'all saw the build. But, yeah, games like this to me are interesting because, if, yo, when it's me and my boy Chavez, bro, we literally do not lose games. Like, if anything, it'll be literally one game per day. Very minimal mistake. So this is definitely the best dual partner I got right now. But, um, yeah, going up against these ISO players, I would say, but... To me, it's kind of funny because these, these, for the most part, I'll say these players suck, yo. Like, the majority of these players is really garbage. They just rely on the speed more than anything else, and and it's funny, right? Because as you can see, as you guys can see, I'm I'm really playing some good defense, right? For the majority of this game, I'm playing good defense. I'm in front of him, and he really has no bag and no move. And if you notice that about ISO players, guys, I want y'all to really pay attention to these ISO players do are they good or are they just relying on speed because as you saw right there we get the stop the way how i play guys i got a bag that's the thing about me i got a bag i'll take you to the rack i'll spin jump shot i'll shoot the three right i can iso if i want to i'm playing pick and roll so i'm doing multiple things a lot of these iso players can't even do a pick and roll to save their life but my boy chavez is screening up right there i'm just playing normal sophisticated basketball um i could have took the fade right there didn't but i take it there and i think i end up breaking that one i ain't gonna lie to y'all boys man i break that one but if anybody has ever played a comp game y'all boys know that bro these games is high pressure because you know it's a good you know you know you're playing against players that are capable of winning even if i think they might not be that good like right there he tries to do a random floater misses terribly and i get the green right there um they're still going to be capable right there's difference between being good and then knowing how to exploit the game a lot of people these days are exploiting, you know, exploiters at the game. Um, whenever I run into somebody that's actually good, I give them their props. No cap. I, I'll give them their props. They good. But um, right here, I'm trying to cook up a little bit, kind of ISO him, drop off the ball to Chavez. Um, that's typically how we run our offense is through pick and roll. Um, unless the guy starts to actually, like, stick on a pick and roll, I kind of operate outside of that. But as y'all can see right there, y'all. If someone thinks they're clamping me up, I'm going to go baseline and I'm going to do a spin jump shot. You, you don't see many players play like that. Um, I think I have a really unique style. I know that Ticino is a you know shot creator, but I think I have a really, really unique style in terms of like the shooting, the, you know, the kind of difficult shots I take the majority of the game. And guys, if y'all look at my shooting stats, I'm shooting about 60 plus percent from the field. So I'm making the majority of my shots, guys. Like that's a really great percentage from the field. Um, my boy Chavez had to force that shot up there. Uh, no worries. That's the one thing I don't worry about when I'm playing with Chavez. I know for a fact we are going to get multiple stops within a game. Like, someone has to be really, 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 really good to just drop us off and we can't get a stop. But you see him right there driving to the paint. Um, once again, just utilizing the speed. Like I said, like, I'll give people their credit for understanding how to dribble because I don't know how to combo up as great as others. But, you know, for people to just kind of just sit there and rely on that alone, it, it's just hilarious to see because... It really goes to show who's really good at the game and who really stink because I don't have to sit there and rely on speed boosting and running around in circles. And if I'm getting shut down with speed boosting, I just can't do anything else. Um, people in the community are too used to just doing this bot antics, dribbling around like this and having someone sit corner. And then even like right, that right there, that was a terrible layup attempt, right? Fully contested, but he still makes it just off of being bailed out from mashing into the paint and running around and speed boosting. But nonetheless, we don't hesitate. We don't really, you know, fold in the pressure situation like this. I I make these builds for a reason, guys. Two-way sharpshooting creator for a reason. I make sure that I'm going to be able to get stops at some point. 88 perimeter defense. I got these uh, defensive badges. I'm gonna be able to get a stop at some point. So I love playing these players, man. I think they know what they're doing. Um, and I'll give him his credit. You know what I'm saying? He, he not got a shot right there. He, he know what he doing. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna trash him too much, but Y'all stay tuned because there's going to be a part two of this video. So y'all boys stay tuned for it. Trust me and believe me when I tell y'all that. But um, right there, guys, I get the stop. I get the stop. You know what I'm saying? At some point, I'm going to get the stop on these kinds of players. It's going to be like no one's going to sit there and 21 owe me or do some crazy stuff like that. Not going to be the case. But I take it to the rack right there. So as y'all saw earlier, I was able to do a spin jump shot, standing three pointer. Then I'm taking it to the rack. I'm mixing it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm mixing it up going back there right there i'm trying to create some space i got a big speed boost i noticed that whenever i get my takeover my player gets a lot faster which is you know i actually love that uh so i'm trying to utilize the screen from chavez right here but i'm out of energy 
He slips, he falls, he almost crashes out, and I missed the shot. Those are the those are the shots I like to hit, bro. Like those be the shots that I really got to make sure I'm hitting. But I, I missed that shot. But we on the defensive end again. Uh, we both got our takeover now, so you know, I, assuming I got a defensive increase on stats, gold challenger. I could have took that first three point attempt, didn't do it. Go for the mid range and make up for the one that I just missed. So. Um, pretty high, high-powered offense right now from both sides. Like I said, I just, I know that I'm better than that player. Um, it's just that the dribbling, man, the speed. Sometimes speed does kill, and you know it can be an issue from time to time. And um, you know some players just rely just on that alone. But you see me being smart right here, utilizing the screen, coming off the screen, fading away right there, big greens. Um, hey, you know what I'm saying you're gonna rely on speed running around. I'm just gonna fade away from you in green shots. You know what I mean? I got Hall of Fame Midi Magician for a reason. It's gonna be utilized. Gold slippery off ball got me running around. I'm taking that fade again. You know, two defenders pretty much in my in my vicinity, and I'm still pulling, still greening. So I'm I'm just like that, bro. That's the difference. Like I'm just like that. I don't gotta rely on speed boosting around and speed to get to my spots. I can play off of screens. I can play off the ball really well. You know what I'm saying? Slippery off ball. Um, get the ball, run around a bit, dribble get to my spots and most importantly guys score the ball um i get blocked right there i try to you know go to the lower left baseline and do a spin jump shot but sometimes you know you're gonna get those animations from 2k um he's going to the rack and it's a tight game right now y'all can't lie to y'all boys tight tight game we're pretty much shooting the same right now but two different styles of play as y'all boys can see two different styles of play and um that's just how the game's playing now he takes a dumb layup right there pays the price and i'm just like Come on, bro. Big greens. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you thinking about doing? But once again, guys, when you rely on speed and trying to paint mash, you're going to lose games more, you know, more times than not. You know what I mean? You're probably going to lose those games. You know what I mean? Like, especially when you're playing somebody like me and Chavez. We know what's going on. We're playing defense. I'm going in on an offensive end. We're playing great defense. No real mistakes there. Being patient now in this moment, I'm going for a good shot. Uh, and I kick it out the shop as he ends the game. So guys, that's just the difference between ISO and actually playing real life basketball. Now, can I ISO? Yes, I can. Check out my most recent video. You guys will see me ISO and um, it's not as pretty as you know the other players because I don't have a 95 ball handle, but nonetheless, I'm gonna get the job done. And as you can see, I just outplayed him. Um, he still put up his stats, you know, I gotta give it to him, but at the end of the day, I got the last W. But guys, y'all know how people be, bro. Y'all know people can't take enough of L's on 2K. So if y'all wanna see part two, bro, let's get this video to 10 likes. Get this video to 10 likes and I got y'all boys with a part two cause y'all know some people like to be Beyblades and spin the block like a damn fidget spinner cause they just can't get enough. It's like that toxic you know, relationship where the, the, the girl can't stop going back to her old man. You know what I'm saying? She keeps spinning the block again and again. You know what I'm saying? They just can't get enough. So hey, look, 10 likes and I got y'all boys with part two, man. Let's get it. Gang. They cannot do it like him. Uh, uh huh. Nobody shooting like him. Gang. Nobody doing like him. That nigga hate everyone cause he broke. And that's why nobody like him. Gang. SD Glow Night talking this shit.